I, that's me, I, you, yeah, me, I had a video, uh, a video, no, I had a uh, question in my video. It is, I'm going to take it as a question, or it's actually a comment, but it's kind of like a question, and I thought I'll answer him, I'll do it in a video, all right? So here's the question, it's from this guy called Say What? All right? Love how Linux kids have to experiment with every Linux crap while installing Windows and you forget about it and live your life not becoming an OS engineer. <sighs> well, first of all, I'm 52 years old. I am not a kid, although I act like a child. Um, I still am a kid mentally. Still am, yeah. I still feel 12 years old, but hey ho, that's uh, I'm not a, I'm not a child. Uh, second of all. I wanted to get away from the proprietary life of Windows, basically, because I could see what was looming up on the horizon with all this AI crap and all this other telemetry going on within Windows. I needed to get away, and I thought, right, now's the time, because 2025 is looming, meaning that Windows 10 uh, is end of life on October the 14th. Is it the 14th of October? I do believe it is. Uh, it's going away altogether, so everyone would have to go to Windows 11. And this 24H4, or 24H whatever it is, is it 24H4? Yeah, whatever it is, uh, doesn't look that appealing to me at all. So, yeah, not very happy with the way that Microsoft do stuff, which is why I love free and open source stuff. I absolutely love my Linux. It works for me. It's my everyday daily drive. I do YouTube on it. I can do everything that you can do in your Windows. All right. Okay. So there might be a few hurdles depending on what distribution you want to install. Yeah. Depending on which one you install, you may have to build it up yourself. And it's down to me to update it. It's not automatic updates or anything like that. I could go on and bore the pants out of you, really. But what I love about Linux is the, I'm going to say it, it's my own freedom. There you go. It's my own freedom to do whatever I want. I can game in Linux. I can play all the latest AAA games here in Linux land uh, with a little thing that Valve produced called Pro, um, Proton. I can play all of those games. Yes, may have to tweak around a little bit, but... Pfft, Nine times out of ten, I haven't had to do any tweaking whatsoever. I just run the game and it works. There you go. Basically, it just works straight on out the bag. Uh, Valve Proton has come an awful long way. And I love it. I love Linux. I, You call it crap, that's up to you. Have you ever tried it? Have you ever tried it before? Have you ever installed it in a virtual machine and tried your way around it? Something simple like Cinnamon or something? Uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon, which is about the closest thing you'll get to Windows, or Zorin OS. Uh, there's another one that is close, closely related to Windows. Um, you know, so many different environments in Linux. This is the only thing that you'll you'll struggle to get your head head around if you ever think about coming on over to Linux. There's so much choice. What do I go for first? Do I go for Arch? Well, no. I would say no. Do not go with Arch, not for beginners, not at all. If you're beginning your, your life on over into Linux land, then I highly suggest that you do your research first. All right, that's all I'm going to say on the matter, really. But I have been using Linux for years now. I've been using Linux since uh, 2010, off and on. Also use Windows 11 as well, um, Windows 7 as well. Bloody Windows 11 on the brain. Um, Windows 7 back then, and also Windows XP before that. It was my brother that introduced me to Linux, and I'm so pleased he did, because I was, for a while, carrying a uh, Linux Mint Mate edition around on an external hard drive, and I was taking it around to the libraries and using it on the, the internet cafe in there, yeah, and, and around other internet cafes as well. And I asked if I could plug in my Linux and they, nine times out of ten, they said, yes, that's fine. We'll get you up and running. And they went on into the BIOS for me and um, I managed to boot up my Linux Mint in there. So, you know, 
fantastic. You can do that. Uh, Linux can be installed on virtually anything now. Um, virtually anything at all. It can be installed in on and you'll have the time of your life. Even down to an 8 gig stick you can, you can install Linux on. There's so many different environments on on out there with Linux, and it's great, you know. If you just want to do emails, a bit of YouTube, bit of, um, you know, everyday things that people do on their Windows system, then, yeah, you can do that here in Linux. You're freer in Linux for the fact that you haven't got automatic updates. You'll get a, like I do in Linux Mint and also in uh, over in Arch as well, You'll get a prompt to say, oh, you got an update. You just update it. There you go. Just follow the prompts and update it. And you can update it whenever you want. It's not going to suddenly go, ah, oh, you've got to update now. It's really important that you do this update and all that. And it's not forever in your face like Windows systems are. Yeah. Then again, you're saying to me that all the stuff uh, you have to experiment with every single while installing Windows and you forget about it. If you don't want any of that telemetry crap, then you have to tinker anyway, switching stuff off. So no matter what operating system you're on, I don't care. I don't care, you know, I don't care what you think about Windows or Linux. All I'm saying is that for me personally, and for many, many others as well, there's a hell of a lot of people on out there who are now moving on over to Linux. I... Personally, don't want the whole world on Linux. I would hate that. I would hate that tremendously because we will end up with problems like you've got in Windows with your security problems and all of that, yeah? Because Windows still relies on XE files and still allows you to download XE files from various sites and be able to install your applications that way. Here in Linux, we've got them all, all together, yeah? We've got them in, in repositories that come with the actual operating system itself. All right. Like a deb file. Um, we've got, oh, don't talk to me about snaps. I'm not fond of um, flat packs either, but they are more reliable than snap packages, I think. Anyway, so we've got loads of apps. I mean, take yesterday's video, for instance, this video here, I installed um davinci resolve yeah we're using a little script and that came from a guy who was using windows at the time and he had enough of windows he had enough of all the telemetry he had enough of all the pop-ups and everything else so he moved on over to linux and he went to linux mint and he come up with this script in order to be able to install uh davinci resolve and it's his script that he put out onto the onto the public and I've actually got the link in one of my past videos, but I'll put the link underneath this video as well. If you're using Linux on out there and you want, and you're a creator, I highly recommend using DaVinci Resolve. And you can you can use this script in whatever Linux you are in. All right. I don't know so much about Gen 2, but I know it works on Arch because I've used it on my Cache OS as well. So uh, you can use it on whatever Linux you want that particular script and it'll work straight on out of the bag absolutely fantastic and this guy you know he says that he's not a programmer or anything like that but um he, know, he, he, he knows his stuff to be able to write a script in order to be able to install davinci resolve and i'll show you the script there it just um un uh unpacks it inside the terminal and then it went away and in, in, and then a pop-up window come up and then i just went away and installed it so much easier than having to go off and finding all the flipping stuff that you need for it. Uh, I've had no problem whatsoever. Everything's just working in DaVinci Resolve, even uh, to the point I've, I've I actually a um, couple of free plugins that people here on, on YouTube have made. And he said, don't know if it's going to work in Linux. He actually says on there. So I thought oh, I'll try it out. And it works. Works straight away. Um, I feel more comfortable in Linux than what I do in Windows. But then the best security you can get in Windows is yourself. But then it's also the worst security you can have as well is yourself. Because you go off and you go off to all sorts of shady sites and you don't read up before you install Windows or any operating system. 
And so you, as an average user, just get infected all the time. Unless you know what you're doing and you've read up and you, you know, you keep your operating system up to date. Windows I'm on about. Yeah, got to keep that up to date all the time. And how slow is it? You switch off stuff in Windows. Yeah, switch off stuff in the, in the settings. And then you have a in I can't even say the word. I'll put it up on screen. Three, two, one. Now, that word. Yeah. You put, you have one of those updates. Yeah. And then it puts everything back again. What's that about? Why does it do that? You see, because it's a proprietary system. Proprietary systems, to me, takes the control away. You have to sign in with your email address. I don't have to do that here in Linux. That's another great thing. You don't have to. In fact, in Windows, you can set up a local account. There's a few ways of doing it. There's a, a terminal command when you're installing Windows that you can put on in. Uh, it's one of the bloody keyboard shortcuts, shift and something or other. Uh, it could be control, control, shift and F1 or something like that. Brings up a brings up a terminal, I don't know. And you just put this command in and it, then it re and then you get it to reboot and then come back on in and and uh, then the next time round you won't be asked for internet or uh, or for your email address to go on in and you can log in as as local. But having to go through all of that just because you want a local account, as in just your name, not your email account, having to go through all of that. Whereas here isn't in Linux, I can just put whatever in. I don't have to put an email account on in. You know. There's things like that. There's lots of changes. There's lots of weird stuff that Microsoft are doing at the moment. And I think they're going too far with all this AI crap. You know, I don't want AI in an operating system. Why the hell do you want artificial intelligence taking over your experience? I mean, they're even going as far as doing it in games now. I don't want it on an operating system full stop, you know. Um, with artificial intelligence, if you're a creator, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. If you haven't got a voice or you can't speak or something or you can't use a microphone, you haven't got that sort of tech, and you so you use AI to actually talk for you, then, yeah, fair enough. But please, please, if you're going to do that, I've seen it many a time here on YouTube, uh, they don't pronounce words properly. You have to extend the word uh, to make it say the sounds of that word, if you get what I mean. Uh, I can't think of a word at the top of my head, but anything that's tricky for AI to, to pronounce, you have to extend it for it to be able to say those those vowels and those letters, yeah? To be able to uh, form the shape and sound of the word. Do you get what I mean? Uh, I, I, off the top of my head, I can't think of it, but hey-ho, you know? I mean, I don't mind that. I don't mind that with artificial intelligence. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's all right. But when it comes on down to actually being in on your actual operating system, which you didn't fucking ask for anyway, when you, well, probably you did if you read the EULA before installing Windows. Bloody gut sheet of thingy. I still don't understand it to this day. I've read it over and over and over and over and over and over again. And the wording and all of that, it still don't make any sense. I get for the fact that you're you're only renting it. I get for the fact that uh, it's not actually yours, whereas Linux for me is actually mine on my operating system and I can do whatever I want with it. Hence why I don't run it like the developers want because I'm fed up with... Uh, I just got fed up with Windows telling me on how I can I can have my Windows. Yeah, I know there's programs out there, but do I want to download a program in Windows? Because again, uh, that's taking control away from me. Again, having to download a program in order to get things to look different on a Windows system. Yeah, theming it. Do you get me? No, don't want none of that. Now, my missus, bless her, she's going to be using Windows 11 on her new PC once I've got it up and running for her. And I'll sort that out for her. And I've taken a majority of the telemetry away with the custom ISO that I made myself. So it's 23H2 and it should be all right. Uh, should be fine. And I can tell Windows not to upgrade to 24H2 or whatever it's called. Because I don't want none of that. 
thank you very much for all this bloody AI and she won't want none of that. She'll pull her hair out. I mean, she's pulling her hair out at the moment. It's a very old computer that she's got. It's uh, still running a spinning drive, for God's sake. And she's running Windows 10 at the moment. The poor cow, you know. Uh, so I've got to I've got to get her up to a modern way of thingy with um, uh, M.2 drives and what have you, which I have got for her. It's just in the long pipeline of getting everything sorted out, you know. And here I am just doing bloody videos. I love making videos. I love making stuff. I went to work last night and I'm not tired. You know, I've gone over that tiredness now. So I'm staying up. I've still got work tonight to do as well. Anyway, you know, I can do all sorts of things here in Linux that you can't do. in the And I'm not going down that petty road. All right. Uh, use whatever you want to use in life. All right. Whether you're using Windows, Mac, whatever. Just be happy. At the end of it all, I'm not going to say at the end of the day, even though I've just said it. I hate that bloody word, because at the end of the day, you either go to bed unless you are working a night shift. There you go. Anyway, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go. Sorry, it's a bit boring, wasn't it? Just having that up on the screen. Um, there, that's better. Have a, have a bit of that look. Here's my lovely, 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 lovely Linux Mint. And it just works. I'm just going through all the different uh, all the uh, different workspaces at the moment. There we go. With this uh, simple, which I, I can set up myself. I don't have to use what the devs have given me on this. This is my point of what I'm saying. Uh, proprietary systems, you're just given, yeah, with Windows, you're just given what they give you. You know, you're just given that and that's it. Unless you're a programmer, you can change it all around and make it do whatever you want it to do. But if you're not, and you're just an average Joe like myself, uh, you can't. You can't just uh, go on in willy-nilly on a Windows system. Anyway, that's the point I was trying to make, get across, I think. Whereas here in, in lovely free and open source land, I can do whatever I want. And I can run whatever I want. I can play games in here. I don't have to rely on a proprietary system anymore. I'm free to do whatever I want now, you know? And that's the beauty about Linux. Whether you're a top-notch programmer or whether you're just starting out in Linux, you'll have a bloody better time. Things will open up quicker. Things will run better. Uploads. I've just uploaded a video, which is 14 minutes long, right? And it's in the 1440p. It's just me talking about Mikache OS. That's all that operating system is. Do you know how long it took to render after it uploaded? Three minutes for it to check for any um, copyright stuff and for it to render on up to uh, 1440p. Three minutes after it uploaded. It took uh, 14 minutes... Um, 12 minutes to upload. Amazing. Just went whoosh. Why can't YouTube be like that all the time? Anyway, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. For now.